welcome back to my channel. This is Steffi Mosson on Esclitzy Gem. Thank you for joining me here today. Today is another uh, month of Sassy Divas. So we're doing a Sassy Divas collab this month. I'm so glad you were able to join us today. And I am proud to announce our, all our Sassy Divas down below. There are six of us. We have uh, Emily D. We have Tracy with Tracy's Unboxings and more. We have uh, Life with Christine, Jennifer Loves Makeup, Leslie with Hillbilly's Creativity, and then myself. So um, keep on watching, and I'll come right back on and let you know what the theme of our collab for today is. All right? Give me a second. Ta-da! This is the finishing look. Yeah, this is the finishing look. It's it's done. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just I'm just uh I did some of my makeup. Today's theme for the Sassy Divas is your interpretation of a June look. You know, a June inspired look. And for me, a June inspired look is you know, spring going to summer. And so I decided to create a dewy, glowy look. Uh, and using this palette here by Lorella, the Fresh Squeeze palette from my eyeshadow. But first, let me let you know what's on my skin. You know, to sh to share with you guys why it looks so dewy and glowy because I used uh, these iconic London Illuminating Drops. These are really nice and these are really good. Uh, along with, um, I don't know why I got this. I don't know why I got this foundation. I should have got one that's well, was more dewier, but this is the true, the true blend by CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation. It's a matte foundation, and I should have used a more creamier foundation, something more dewier. So, but I mean, I guess that didn't uh, th that didn't uh, hurt the situation uh, with this illuminator because it did make my my skin look dewy and glowy, which you know, which was the look that I was going for for this uh it's a mine is more in like i said more of a, a summer inspired look so in the summer you do see you know you're having more sun you do see more people you know you know put on makeup that's more dewier glowy and illuminating you know because of the summer and um so this is my interpretation of it um so i use that to the foundation and the illuminator for my eyebrows, I went ahead and I used my Ofra Cosmetics Universal Shade Pencil. And then I also filled it in with my uh, Benefit Benefit Brow. Give me brow in the shade 5, you know, for my brows. And then I used a bronzer, which is my Yenza Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzer. I used that around my, the perimeters of my skin, uh, around my face, perimeters around my face, on my cheekbone area. And then I used a blush from the this Ulta Beauty Blush Palette. And I used this shade called Cherry Blossom, which has, if you can see, it has like little sparkles in it. It's like a dewy, illuminating, glowy, um, light pink blush. I'm not sure we can see that from here. Um... Can y'all see its true form? I think you can there. I think you can see like some, like some little specks of shimmer in there. So I use this shimmery blush, and I did a sun-kissed effect for my for my blush. So I not only did I use it on my cheeks, but I also used it over here across my nose, the bridge, you know, around the bridge bridge of my nose and around my cheek area here. I used a little bit of this blush to make my skin look more sun-kissed, more like I was in the sun. A hence you know summertime look and then for my highlighter yeah not you know my skin is already doing it as it is you're like have more highlighter yes more highlighter because we are in the summer you cannot have too much highlighter <laughs> not in my not in my books you know uh, so this is the after hours highlighter from Wander Beauty um, and I use this on the bridge of my nose and I also used it on the cupid's bow. I used it on the chin. I used it on the high points of my cheeks. So I used that for the highlighter. And what else did I use? I think that was it. You know, just you know, for my my skincare, my complexion products. Then I started to go off with my 
eyeshadow look because I had a an eye look in mind, but I was I wanted to get it started. Go, I wanted to get it going, get it started first before I even came on camera, and you know started getting started losing my train of thought. So I went ahead and I started it, and I went ahead and I used the yellow for the crease, but also to uh, blend in the crease area, outer crease area. So I used the yellow in this in this palette. How beautiful this palette is. I love the shades in here. I have a little bit of swatches here on the side of my my hand. The shim some shimmers in here. Oh, the shimmers are nice. This is a really nice um the shimmers are illuminating, so this is a really nice summer palette. I, you know, and it's simple and it looks neutral. But the shimmers are on point. They are, you know, just right for the summer. So this is the shade I use. I use the shade Lemonade for the crease of my eye. Ooh, almost dropped it. Uh, for the crease of my eye and just all around the crease, the outer corner. And I just kept uh, darkening it up, darkening it up. You know, I did go in there back and forth quite a few times, you know, to get it dark. And then I went ahead and I decided to use... Um, just to give me some definition on my outer corner because I do have hooded eyes and I do have eyes that look like they're almond shaped They kind of give me like this cat eye look. So I went ahead and I used uh, the shade Peel, which is a matte shade. So was the yellow Lemonade. Lemonade is also a matte shade. So I used Peel and also used that on just the outer corners of my eye, if you can see that. And then I went ahead and I went over it with this, a shade called Main Squeeze, which is also like a shimmer. This one's a matte, and I used a shimmer to go over it because I wasn't too happy with the matte. I was like, oh, I need a little more umph to it, more pizzazz. So I gave, so I went ahead and I used Main Squeeze, and plus I needed some shimmer because it was also going into my lid, so my lower lid. So I wanted a, a shimmer shade on my lower lid. On my on my lid you know not lower lid here but on my actual lid uh, you know below my crease area I wanted to have some kind of shimmer even if it's on the outside of the lid so part of the outside of the lid of my eye uh, is that shimmer shade now to so this is where I stopped so I'm, I'm here you know gonna continue on with the look which I already decided what looks I wanted to use I wanted to go ahead and just do my brow bone area and I'm gonna go ahead and use this this shade called zest this is a this is almost this is a very nice nude pink almost rose gold shimmer and I want to use that just on the bridge of my note just on the brow bow area brow bone area so I'm gonna go ahead and use a small tipped brush like this and I'm just gonna give myself right here where the arch is some shimmer It's called Zest, and I'm using it here on the outer part of my brow bone, right here, the brow bone area. <laughs> I didn't get to let y'all know that if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification, but also give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. And this is a collab, so you would have to watch all six channels. In order for you to get in on the giveaway for um, our collab, you have to be subscribed to all six channels. There'll be link, uh, There's a playlist that will be linked down below. You can go through each channel. Uh, you don't have to keep searching it through YouTube. You can just click on their, on their links, and you can go straight to each video. It takes a, a lot less time using a playlist, which I love playlists when we have collabs like this. So yeah, watch each individual will have a secret word in their video so that way you can become a semi-finalist to the actual uh, giveaway. So in each in each month, there's always a secret host hosting the giveaway. So we don't know who the host is, you know, for this month, but there is a host that will come on this month to let you know who was the host last month. If they were the host last month, they will let you know. And they're the ones that are the host for the giveaway. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you are one of the ones that won. I guess you'll know 
once the host will will reveal who the winner is. All right, so I'm so anxious to use this organic shade, which is like a gold shimmer. But I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to start using something for my inner lid. I'm going to use this shade called uh, Slice, this blue shade. I'm going to use that on the inner, the inner corner of my lid. So as I was saying, I'm going to use this shade called Slice. It's a very light blue shimmer. I'm going to go ahead and use that in the inner part of my lid. Use that on the inner part of my lid. If I wasn't blurred out there. My camera tends to go in and out, so I'm sorry. I apologize for that. All right, so there it goes. You can see the blue on the inner part of the lid, which is magnifique. And then I'm going to go ahead and use, I like to use my finger to apply the shimmer. I'm going to use this shimmer called Organic. It's like a gold shimmer. And just apply it right here down the center. I wouldn't mind using the yellow one. The yellow shimmer is pretty nice as well. So let me use a little bit of that. Yeah, let me use that yellow one. I'm going to use this yellow shimmer. It's called Lemon. And I think that's more appropriate than the gold one for this look. To bring out more of the yellow, I went ahead and I'm going to use this <clears throat> yellow shimmer. I'm going to go over it with the organic one with the gold one first. Just kind of pat it in there just a little bit. And then give it a whole dimension using, I'm sorry if there's not enough lighting here. So I'm go ahead and use uh, lemon, lemon again for the center. I feel like it's more appropriate with this yellow since um, a lot of the yellow from from the crease has actually depleted a little uh, depleted a little bit so there we have oh look at that isn't that a wonderful color yeah so now the bottom lash line I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a really soft thin small tip brush smudge brush and I'm going to use a shade called Bitter. You know me. I love to use like dark shades underneath my lash line. And it could, um, just, to, just to give me that pop of color. So those, for who, those who are not new to my channel. So for those who already know me on my channel. I already know that I like for my bottom lash line to pop. You know whether it be a blue shade depending on the. On the color story I'm using depending on the palette and the colors I'm using I'd like for it to stand out sometimes I like to blend it in almost give it like a little smoky eye so yes I'm using the shade bitter which is this dark brown shade here as you can already tell is getting a little it's, it's there's a difference here you can already tell this is really not bad of a formula in the, in uh, this Lorella palette. I got this in my Lorella subscription. If you haven't seen that subscription, I'll go ahead and put it up here so you can watch the video. I love Lorella so far, so good. I haven't had any complaints from them, and they're about the same price as a as a boxy charm. So I wanted me an indie brand 
a box besides Ice Cream Beauty. Ice Cream Beauty is also another subscription that I also get. It's supposed to be a replacement of like the Boxy Charm, but I, um, I feel like um, so that's like an indie brand Boxy Charm type of box, the Ice Cream Beauty. But Ipsy also had some really nice products that would have been well ipsy and boxy charm are both you know together they're the same company so maybe um as far as indie brand boxes to compare for the both of them i think that this one here lorella and ice cream beauty are the ones that come close um i think still slay glam is really good too but i think they're not as close as you know uh boxy charm they're Getting close to Ice Cream Beauty, but, um, so yeah, so Ice Cream Beauty and Slay, Gra Slay Glam are kind of head-to-head, -head. so, but um, as, as far as me saying that Ice Cream Beauty can replace uh, a BoxyCharm box <clears throat> as an indie brand, it could, because it could do a lot more better. I'm not saying that it's not it's it's a really good box but um i think it's a really nice indie indie box indie brand box but i don't think it's comparable to the boxy charmer ipsy and lorella <clears throat> well lorella is a really nice brand as well I've, I've come to notice that their eyeshadow palettes are always on point they're really nice i love their eyeshadow palettes their pigmentation is always there and i've never unhappy or dissatisfied with their quality of formula on their eyeshadow palette so yeah so there's some really good uh, indie brand subscription boxes out there for you guys to enjoy and subscribe to you know um apart from ipsy and boxycharm which are more of the higher end um companies so i'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner and mascara and then i'll come right back on all right, so here is the actual finishing look. So this is my summer-inspired, June-inspired look. Uh, well, so here's my summer-inspired for the month of June. So I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, the look that I created. I hope you like the dewiness of my skin for the summer. I uh, hope you like my accessories <laughs> that I put on for today's video, for today's theme. So uh, let's get a close-up of the eye so you can actually see what all did to the eye. You know, going over the shades that we had already used. Uh, I'm not going to name the shades we used already, but I will go over, I uh, will, you know, show you the eye look. All right, so I did use I did use my mascara, my Paris Hilton Paris Hilton lengthy mascara with my lash curler. So I guess you can see like where it kind of gives me a little volume, I me mean a little length. And then I used my Avon Glimmer Sticks Diamonds uh, flashy copper liner for the bottom waterline top lash line I went and I used my favorite type of uh, eyeliner that that uh, I can't find anywhere else but this is also by Avon but it's the mark by the mark brand on the edge it's a liquid eyeliner but it has a thin small short tipped brush I want to show you guys this is one this is my first top favorite type of Eyesh liquid eyeshadow brush it gives you a really nice precise line that's the reason why I, I love to use these kind of brushes for eyeliners and then I also use some glitter to go over the brown eyeliner if you weren't able to see that in the light you know the glitter from this right here this is the glitter I used for the 
top lash line of the eyeliner, which looks like this. And I don't think you're going to see it here because it's kind of like almost a shade of my skin. But uh, yeah, it has glitter specks in it, so I use that. And then for my lips, I went ahead and I used my Kylie Jenner's Bare Velvet um, Matte Liquid Lipstick. But um, I used this gloss <clears throat> by Lorella to go on top. This one here, this gold gloss. Really nice, really nice gold shade. But it's it's a clear gloss and you can see a little hint of gold which is really pretty I'm pretty sure if I wore it alone it'll look really nice but I wanted to give myself a little tint of color on my lips to go with the eye look you know because it's a that look that I created was really nice I think it's I think in my opinion is like a a um, nice soft glam look but it's you know like some it, to me it speaks spring to summer type look and that's what the look kind of like I was going for I put on some yellow flower earrings you know to kind of go with the theme so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it leave your comments down below and let me know um, what do you guys think did you like the look um, did you like this palette I love this palette I I am so glad I was able to use it in this video so um, yeah, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so if you want to get in on the giveaway. The secret word for this uh, for this video is going to be called lemon because because of the because uh, my inspiration came from this palette which is uh, lemon slices. So, but just to make the the password a little the password the secret word a little easier, I'm just going to say lemon. So lemon is a secret word for my video so yeah that is everything i wanted to share with you guys that's my look hope you guys enjoyed it um thank you all and have a great wonderful day go check out the other ladies join uh put in your secret word in their videos that way you can become one of their semi-finalists at the end of the at the end of the month you know for the month of july and stay tuned for july because july is another good collab with the sassy diva so yeah very excited for that i can't wait i actually got some some items for this collab for in july so it's going to be a really nice one so i uh, hope you're able to uh, join us you know in july for the first month of uh, sunday for the, uh, the first sunday of the month you know hopefully you'll be able to join us then in july and in seeing the look that we all created with with the theme that we'll be having so I uh, look forward to seeing you guys again in another video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my YouTube community and part of my Sassy Divas uh, community. And um, love you all. You know, I can't express too much of my love towards you guys. You know, I appreciate you guys. I really do. I'm at 757 right now for my milestone. So I'm, it's holding steady at 757. I just want to make sure that it stays either at 757 for a good while if not you know even more like if I get you know a few more subscribers you know then I'll start doing my milestone giveaway which y'all have already I think y'all have already seen that video if y'all haven't I'll go ahead and put that video here so you can watch it or at the end of this video I'll go ahead and put the video for y'all to watch you know a sneak peek of my giveaway for my 750 milestone alright so I can't wait I can't wait so um, I see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye. Mwah.